All right. It's Happy Friday. Friday. Woo -hoo. Cheers to that. Cheers to mm. that. Mm -mm -mm. Coffee and combos. What you got in your liquid hustle? Just the same three creams, one sugar. Basic. Easy peasy. This is some mocha iced out of the carton. Yeah. You pretty can get it at Banks. It's actually pretty good. It is pretty good. Yeah, put some whipped cream on top. Absolutely. Make it fancy. Absolutely. Okay, so we're here to give the people what they want. Y'all are, love, are mm -hmm. loving this, and mm -hmm. we've been getting some questions, mm -hmm. so we're here to answer them. We have. Okay, what do you, all right, which, we have gotten questions. What's your first question you think we should answer? I think this is important, and I think a lot of people want to know, okay. how do agents determine the value of your home? That is a good question. That is a good question. Because, you know, just like people, agents have different opinions, mm -hmm. right? Right. Okay, so it all, in my opinion, it comes down to the data. Yeah, it comes you can't, down you can't to argue data. with the data. You can't. Mm -mm. You and can't. everyone's looking at the same thing, right? <laughs> Appraisers, right. agents, um, consumers, we're all looking at mm -hmm. sold data. It just depends on where you get it, right? Right. So comparable sales will be the number one data source that we're going to get to determine value. Okay. Now, what makes a good comp? Oh, that's a good, that's really good, Jennifer. Yeah. That's a good question. So if I had a three-bedroom, two-bath brick ranch, okay, I'm not get, built in 1975. All right. <clears throat> I'm not going to compare that to a 1942 Cape Cod. Right. Home. Two-story, right? yeah. That makes sense. Story and a half, two-story, whatever, vinyl-sided, not going to do that. I'm mm -hmm. going to compare a ranch to a ranch. Right. Right? right. Two-story to a two-story, vinyl to vinyl, mm -hmm. brick to brick. If it has stone. a garage, if, I'm going to use another one that has a garage. Yeah. Similar age. Similar age. Similar lot size. Yes. Yeah, square right. footage. So then you gather all of those comps together. And in this market, what's been kind of crazy is we've not had a lot of inventory. So right. sometimes we go past six months and we'll go back into 12 months well, mm -hmm. to find some comps. We, so you might have to dig a little bit, but we can find, mm -hmm. we can find some mm -hmm. good stuff. So the next question feeding into that, what people have been asking is, well, how can I make my home a better comp compared to all of the others? What can I do? Oh, so make it worth more. Yeah. Get more money. Some value. It. How do I add some value? Okay, well, the obvious thing is to add square footage, but most people are not going to add square footage. Right. Right. So, I think the first thing is do the easy. The easy, 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 peasy stuff, which is clean. Clean, clean, clean. Mm -hmm. Declutter. Curb appeal. Oh, my gosh. It's so easy to do something like that. Take a weekend. Uh, absolutely yeah. a weekend. Trim the shrubs. Mulch. Uh, a new uh, welcome mat. Paint the front door. Paint the front door. Oh my gosh. Pressure wash. Mm -hmm. Can I can I get an amen on the pressure wash? Amen. Heather. <laughs> um, you know, small repairs. You know, when a buyer walks up to your front door, you don't want them thinking, oh my god. That's gosh. their first impression. Look at all the spider webs. Chip and paint. Ooh, look at that broken window. Exactly. Yeah. We want the impression to be that the seller has taken care of their property and that makes it worth more. Right. Right? Yeah. Um, so okay. Next thing, you told me about a Zillow stat a while back. Yes. And I loved it. I thought it was so funny. Yeah. Because I hadn't really put it together. But, you know, decorating trends mm -hmm. come and go. But there was this Zillow stat. And I can't remember where I found it, so just take it for what it's worth. But um, houses that had, in their photography, if the primary bedroom had white bedding, it got more showings. That's easy. That's I something know. easy to do. Go to Target, Home Goods, Walmart, right. uh, order it online on, and replace out your comforter with white bedding, mm -hmm. white pillows, you know. White. white makes me think clean. Yeah, yeah. looks fresh and looks fresh, fresh white towels fresh. in the bathrooms, yes. right? That's easy peasy. Easy to do. Um, now, one more thing before we go. So, how can a home warranty um, benefit the seller if you offer that right oh, off the bat? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, oftentimes... A home warranty gives that buyer 12 months of protection from the date of closing. Mm -hmm. So when something happens, like the air conditioner's not cooling or the dishwasher's not working or water, what heater. Have, water yeah. heater give goes out, they've got protection to offset that unexpected expense. Yeah, that can and be that's, expensive. That's a huge benefit to the buyer, but what's the benefit to the seller? Yeah. It really lessens the phone calls that a seller might get from that buyer after the close down the line down the line so, they have that protection yeah. yeah and it makes the house more sellable yeah and it, it, as a buyer it make me feel a little bit better mm -hmm. if the water heater is a little bit older hey i have that home warranty has a little absolutely. bit of protection just in case absolutely you know i don't want to pay for a whole new water heater 
whatever that may be. Yeah. So, yeah. But you know, going back to that other question about how to make your house more valuable, mm -hmm. paint. Oh my gosh, paint. People yes. hate to paint. Yes. People, it's fifty dollars a gallon and it's thousands on the wall. It's the cheapest, easiest way to make your house look like it's worth more. Mm -hmm. Get you some paint and paint your house this weekend. <laughs> Bada bing, boom. Yes. Um. Yeah. So, wow, that was some good. That was that, knowledge bombs right there. That was yeah. a lot of mic drops. Mic hey, drop. Mike, yeah. <laughs> well. On to the weekend. Cheers I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, Jennifer. Yes, yeah. We're going to get jacked up on our Liquid Hustle, and we'll see you mm. next time on Coffee and Convos. Send us your questions. Yeah, send us more questions. See you next time.